What is up guys? I am Howie and this is the Go Ride channel where I strive to publish two videos every week about motorcycle topics of every flavor. If you're new to the channel, stopping by for the first time, please do me a favor and hit subscribe. And if you find this video interesting or you like the video, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. I am currently held up on parts for my 91 KDX. I've got springs and stuff that haven't come in yet. So I'm taking this opportunity to do just a quick review on the Conti Escape tires that are on my KLR. So a little bit of background. The KLR has engine guards, panniers, and a top case. So it's riding about 50 pounds heavier than a stock bike. I have about a thousand miles on the tires. Probably one to 200 of those miles are on trails or dirt roads. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the Continental Escape, these things are a 70% on-road, 30% off-road, or thereabouts uh, adventure touring tire. They're a little bit more street oriented than something like the Continental TKC 80 or the Shinko 804 805 that is also really popular on this bike. They're a little bit more dirt oriented than something like a Metzler Torres. So in the time that I've had the tires, I found their on-road performance to be very good up to the limits of the on-road performance of the KLR. So I've had the tires up to about 70 or 75 miles an hour, which is kind of the top of the range for the KLR, at least the Gen 2. And I haven't found any weird vibrations or anything like that. Additionally, cornering grip is pretty good, um, though I haven't really gone looking for the limit of traction. And there's not really any weird rollover along the edge of the tire like you sometimes get with knobbies. Off-road performance, however, varies drastically depending on the terrain that you're riding on. So on hard pack dirt or rocky trails, I found the traction to be really good and in fact, in the video that you're watching right now of me going up Rogers Pass, I found that they actually perform better than my buddy's knobbies, who's ahead of me in the video. In mud, however, the spacing between the tread blocks is so tight that they tend to clog pretty easily, making them kind of ineffective. And then in sand, again, you don't have enough area on the face of those tread blocks to really provide the traction you need on a bike this heavy uh, to keep weight off the front wheel. So I would recommend against these tires in mud or sand. On gravel roads, the tires are about average. Um, they get a little squirrely in the back, but it's nothing that you can't manage like with steering and throttle inputs. So in summary, uh, if you have an adventure touring bike and you ride similar to me, mostly on the street, but a little bit on the dirt, especially in hard pack, and you steer away from mud and sand because I hate them both, this is a really good tire for you. However, if you've got a larger bike and you're looking to do something like maybe the Nevada Backcountry Discovery Route where you see all those terrible, terrible, terrible flags of deep sand, this is probably not the tire that you're gonna wanna take. You're gonna wanna get something a little bit more aggressive. So hopefully some of you guys found this review helpful. If again, if you like the video, please hit the like button and get out there, go ride.